continuing from the configuration screen of the NLSS interface. Select Badge Profiles. Badge profiles create the generic information required for cardholder badges. Before configuring a badge profile, at least one card profile must be configured. Therefore, it is strongly suggested to complete the configuration of any and all card profiles and access levels prior to adding badge profiles. This will help to minimize unnecessary steps while configuring the system. To configure a new badge profile, click Add. It is recommended that you create a badge profile for each category of personnel type. For example, create a separate badge profile for employees, contractors, vendors, visitors, etc. This will provide a template for adding new personnel to the system, quickly and easily. To begin, give this badge profile a unique name. For this example, we will use an LSS employee badge. Next, you need to select the badge orientation, which corresponds to the way badges using this profile will be printed. Select the arrow next to the drop-down list. Select the desired color from the available options. The company logo option allows you to upload a JPEG file to be included and printed with this badge profile. For optimal performance, it is recommended that you minimize the file size. The recommended logo size is 144 by 72 and 300 dpi. Click the import button to locate and upload a file. The file uploader will appear. To open a file browser to locate your file, click Browse. Browse to the directory where the file is located and select the appropriate file. Click Upload to complete the logo addition to this badge profile. Note: The new logo will appear for your reference. The default deactivation and time format work together to determine the time, in days, months or years, before a badge created using this profile will be automatically deactivated. The default is 90 days. To change the default deactivation, click in the appropriate field and enter the preferred value. To change the time format, or unit of the default deactivation, click the drop-down arrow. Select Day month, or year from the drop-down list. Next, you need to assign a default access level. Click the arrow next to the drop-down list. Select the access level that you want to be assigned, by default, to cards using this badge profile. This reduces overall database management by automatically assigning the selected access level to new card holders that have been assigned this badge profile. For this example, select an LSS employee. Finally, you need to assign the card profile which will enable badges created using this profile to inherit the data formats defined for the chosen card profile. Select the arrow next to the drop-down list. Select the appropriate card profile from the list. For this example, select an LSS employee. When you are satisfied with your badge profile configuration, click Save. Your new badge profile will now be available to assign to new card holders. This concludes this tutorial on badge profiles. Please return to the Identity Playlist to continue to the configuration of card holder user defined.